Tonight, a major stormwater drainage project in the medical district is underway. That's right. News 2's Jordan Sayopa joins us live in downtown Charleston. And Jordan, ground has been broken on a multi-million dollar drainage tunnel extension. Brendan Aaron, officials cited a number of reasons for needing this project, but like rising sea levels and frequent king tides. But the overall goal is to keep our hospitals easy to get to. Keeping flood water out of the medical district so patients and emergency vehicles can get in. It's just critical that we protect and provide flooding relief for the hospital district. On Friday, city, state and federal leaders broke ground on the medical district drainage tunnel extension at Earhart Street. The tunnel will run beneath Earhart and will connect to the President and Cannon Street tunnel system. That will then tie into the tunnels and pump systems of the U.S. 17 and Spring Fishburn project. So this project extends our deep tunnel system that's almost complete, but this already adds an extension to it that will come over in the midst of the hospital district and pick up about another 35 acres of, of area to drain and add to the deep tunnel system that will be pumped out into the Ashley River. The medical district provides care to patients all over the state, but officials say flooding from frequent king tides and intensifying storms over the years prevents hospital access. It leads to disruption of patient care, disruption of access, Patients who travel from across the state, sometimes across the nation, to come to downtown Charleston actually have the clinics are closed. It costs tens of thousands of dollars every day this happens. This project is made possible because of a $10 million grant from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development and another $5 million from the city, a collaborative effort meant to keep hospitals accessible. When people talk to each other and work together, you can get a lot done. This project is expected to be completed by next summer. Reporting live in Charleston, Jordan Siopa, Count on Two.